Okay, this is this is a cool little Japanese manufactured sewing machine that was known as the Bain Switch Zigzagger, apparently at some stores. My understanding is stores like um, like Sears or J.C. Penney or Montgomery Ward. Um, They'd advertise this machine really, really cheap um, uh, to get you to come in and buy a zigzagger sewing machine. And then, because they made this one be very clunky, um, you would be, you know, shown a nicer, smoother running Class 15 one. This is a vibrating shuttle model. This is the old style of long bobbin or long shuttle. It even has a lever to help you get the shuttle out more easily. Um, there's the little shuttle, has the long bobbins, um, but uh, anyway, that's what those look like. Um, the flat part is what goes against the side of the machine that way. Um, but anyway, um, I have it set for zigzag right now. Um, yeah, I'll show you how it moves. That's the widest zigzag, and that's how it does it. Now, I have just oiled this thing. It was not well oiled when I got it. Um, uh, and it was much slower. Um, there's a couple of little teeny tiny wick oil holes and a wick down in there. <laughs> it's, I can't. I don't think I can get it to show it. That teeny, teeny, tiny hole right in there is for oil on the motor. And um, there's one on both sides of the motor. Um, and so if you oil those little tiny holes, it'll get oil of the wick in there and the machine will run much faster. But make sure that you um, remember if you get one of these little very, very rare, hard to find little buggers, make sure that you do all your oiling in here as well. Um, it has a lot of places that need lubricated um, because it is metal on metal and it will go slower and it will wear out faster without being lubricated. So you want to make sure that you do lubricate it well. And I'll give you a quick look at the underside. There is the underside of it. Um, now I am running it on a piece of rubber here, not on a flat surface. And so it is being slowed down a little tiny bit by that. Um, and make sure that you oil all the little spots down here that need it. There's a lot that need it um, to make it stay in good shape. But apparently these would wear, were designed to wear out very quickly, especially if they were not kept oiled and uh, maintained. Um, but, uh, but it's actually a pretty ingenious little design. Um, cool little machine, uh, commonly called bait and switch machine. Here is the plain black cover. It goes over the, his nose, the nose plate, and this is the lid. It's actually twin needle capable um, because of the zigzag stitch. It can do both zigzag and straight stitch with twin needles, and then you have a twin needle thread guide right there above the needle. Um, so, uh, cool little machine. It's got the take-up lever on the end like a class 15 um, clone does, but you have your tension dial on the front of it and this is by the way it's only a three quarters size machine here's the pedal here is the motor mm, yeah glare is pretty bad there we go i think you can see it um it is only a uh 0.75 amp motor but it actually does a great job for as small as it is uh, and as much as it is capable of doing. I'm going to show you straight stitch too because it's not quite as bumpy and jumpy on that. Um, being on a rubber mat here, like I've got it, um, some of the parts are actually hitting the bottom of the rubber mat underneath. Um, but I'm trying to protect my desk. <laughs> That's on straight stitch. It is designed to be mounted in a desk or a um or a um, case it does have the um grub screw holes for mounting on the hinges that would help it stay more stable in a desk or a or, or a case so anyway cool bait and switch zigzagger sewing machine